Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adapt Looks, and it's been about a year since our last macro photography ideas video, so I wanted to bring you five more macro photography subject ideas that you guys can shoot easily at home. Now, I've shot all of these myself over the past year or so, so we have full tutorials on exactly how you can achieve the results like the ones you're about to see. I'll link all of those videos up in the top right hand corner as we go through, and they'll be down in the description as well. So without any further ado, let's get started started with number five. Even with a subject as simple as some plain white paper, it's possible to create some amazing abstract images from the comfort of your own living room. This is a really simple technique of placing some rolled or folded paper over a coloured light source, which can create some really beautiful shapes and effects. Using diffusion and the depth of field of our lens, uh, the light seemingly blends together under the edges of the paper, creating a very pleasing blend of light and colour. I definitely recommend giving this one a go, especially if you're stuck inside and need a creative outlet. Number four requires a much more elaborate setup and some specialist equipment, but the results that you can get from water drop photography are extremely satisfying. To get shots like these, you're going to need an off-camera flash to freeze the movement of the water drops colliding in mid-air. You're also going to need uh, a trigger and water drop kit to time the drops of water down to a millisecond and sync them up with the flash and the camera to all go off together. We're not limited to just colliding water drops either. In the shots that you see here, we used milk to catch the light and we could even add some coloured light as well. If you're wanting a new challenge, this type of photography can absolutely become an entire hobby in and of itself. For subject number three, I wanted to include something from the natural world. We shoot a lot of flowers here on the channel, but lichen was a very surprising subject, so it's made this year's list. What you're seeing here is some common orange lichen, shot under normal and UV light. Uh, when you expose this stuff to pure UV light, it glows in beautiful oranges and blues, which is not something that I expected when I grabbed this branch from the garden. To get even closer, we used a reverse lens setup to explore the uh, strange alien landscape created by the lichen on this twig. This stuff is really easy to find in most temperate climates, so I think it's worth putting it in front of your own macro lenses and taking a look. Coming in at number two is another common subject that we all have in our homes, cutlery. Grabbing some knives and forks and some coloured lighting is a great way to spend an afternoon exploring reflections and abstract geometry. Intersecting fork prongs and the serrated edges of knife blades uh, reflect light back towards the camera. Now, reflections usually make for some challenging photography scenarios, but if you take advantage of those reflections, you can get some really pleasing results, especially when you introduce some colour into the mix. I recommend going into your kitchen and uh, raiding your cutlery drawer to see what interesting shapes and reflective items you have to photograph. Finally, our top macro photography subject idea is probably my favourite project for the whole year. As a commenter pointed out, we've been creating a cinematic marble universe using some creative lighting and some glass marbles. Marble sets are pretty cheap online and we got one that uh, resembled the solar system and that gave me the idea to uh, try and make them look a little bit more like planets. With some strategically placed lights, the results turned out to be pretty stunning. They're not exactly realistic, uh, but definitely look like something from a sci-fi movie or comic book. It only takes a little bit of imagination and some very simple Photoshop work to create these amazing space vistas. It's also very easy to expand your tabletop galaxy um, by adding more elements like um, baby powder nebulae and bubble star backdrops. So there's our top five macro photography subject ideas for you guys to try out this year. If you give them a go, make sure to let us know down in the comments. And while you're down there, make sure to hit the subscribe button for regular macro photography tutorials, ideas and inspiration every two weeks on this channel. 
Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.